Let's go to the left ladder first. That brings us up into a single room with three crates. Oh, wow, look at that, a rocket engine? That is a nice find. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded Ochi, and in this episode, we're going to go out and uh, finish exploring that underground bunker that we found. Um, and if we have time, my plan is to set up an, an outpost, a uh, little bit more than just a single, uh, you know, uh, compartment at the starter area, so we can go loot all of the ships there. And in the process of doing that, I'm expecting to get some good stuff, particularly and hopefully. A better quality food among other things um, I had a little bit of time earlier to play for I don't know about 10 15 20 minutes before I had to then leave again in real life so I didn't record but I did do a couple things off camera um, we set up two more um, nuclear uh, power plants and then I went through uh, the microchips and uh, processed those and in the process of doing that, uh, we got the tier two jetpack, so we made that. And then um, the tier five backpack opened up for us. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's make this thing right now. Um, so we just need three super alloys and a titanium and that's gonna give us yet another row. Um, okay, so I think it said two super alloys and a titanium. Grab that. Yeah, so, okay, so right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. So this should give us eight rows. Oh, we need one more super. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I see what it did. It, it added another column to the backpack. Okay, that's fine too. It's all the same. <laughs> um, actually, no. One, two, three, four. This added a lot more because there are seven more slots in this column as opposed to a row. So that's a huge increase in backpack space. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, cool. Um, so there's not a whole lot else to get you updated on. Um, I've probably only spent maybe 30 minutes, if even that, off camera doing stuff, so uh, all together. So we're 5% of the way to the, the lakes stage. And um, in terms of blueprints, yeah, we just got the, the tier five opened up. Uh, the tier four heaters on its way. Um, the nuclear reactor two is on its way. The algae generator. Okay. That's not going to do us any good until we actually have lakes on the ground. Um, and then we're getting close to this bio lab, which I think I'm going to set up, um, on the other side of the biodome in this little section here. In fact, we could, well, actually let's look at that again for a minute. If we go to here. We need 865 G of biomass. We have 586. So if we made another um, one of the grass spreaders, we could in get that going. Um, so why don't we do that? We need a mag, an aluminum, and a lirma seed. All right. Let's grab a lirma seed, a mag, and an aluminum. And two waters. Okay. We have one water in there. Oh, I also noticed that we no longer have ice. Our planet has heated up enough to where there's no ice anymore. So we're completely reliant upon this for water until, you know, we get actual water that we can drink from like lakes and stuff. Uh, but this is doing a good job. I mean, it's definitely producing enough water to keep me, um, you know, surviving and also extra for when... 
it's required for crafting. So we're doing pretty good. But, you know, we could always build another one of those if we have to. Um, they're not really that expensive, actually. Maybe we should, just should do that. It does use 13 power. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that later. Uh, what I want to do is let's build another one of these. And maybe we'll put this one just kind of across the way and out this way a little bit. And get some more grass going, a.k.a. biomass. Beautiful. Let's go back over here. And um, let's see. That's 100%. Okay, let's pick both of these squash and the mushroom. And we'll pick these guys too. I'm going to eat the eggplants now to get topped off. And I'm going to bring these with us. Can I eat one more of those? Yeah. I'm going to bring these with us so we have some backup food um, while we're out and about. I'm also going to bring some extra waters too. So let's bring, yeah, let's bring at least three extra waters and then drink one right now. Okay, so we are completely topped off. And I think we're ready to go. So let's do it. Oh, actually, hold on. I should, yeah, let's empty this out so it can keep, you know, keep uh, filling up for us. So let me get all this stuff put away. Let's motivate. We're heading back uh, to the east here to that underground bunker that we found that had the extra wrecked buildings around it. And uh, we, we popped our head in there, if you remember in the last episode, but we didn't really fully explore or loot the place. So hopefully we'll find some good stuff down in there. And then after that, we're going to move to the starting area and set up an outpost. That is the plan. We'll see how things go. Let's stop off here and unload you. And we're going to have to make another locker. Okay. Put all that there and all this can go in here. All right, I think that place um, was over to the east. I know I could I could be using beacons, and I probably should be using beacons. But, you know, at least with this southern part of the map, I'm pretty getting pretty familiar with it by now, so um, probably not needed necessarily. I did come over here and set set up my own little shack and put some um, uh, some storage in place too. Okay, so let's put the this food in here. We'll put the waters there, but I want to take just in case that's really extensive down there. I want to take a little more oxygen, and we should be fine on food for our first run down there. Okay, let's do this. So, um, we, we came into this room and we looked in there, um, but I'm, if it's basic stuff, I'm going to leave it for the moment anyways. And we, I, did we read this? Yeah, I don't think we did. Okay. I wasn't expecting that my landing site would be so bad, but there is no reason I won't be able to terraform this big rock. I have enough knowledge about the process to succeed. All I have to do is follow the steps, hope for good weather and not too many meteors. It can't be that hard. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Okay. Right. Um, since we're still right at the top level, let's just replant our O2, because why not? Okay. Let's go down to the next level. Uh, all right. So we got some veggie tubes here that we unfortunately can't do anything with. Nothing to loot, but we do have another message. It's been harder than expected. The outside is toxic and the seeds won't really grow underground. My calculations tell me that the planet's position should be best to terraform it in around two years. I just have to survive until then. Hmm, interesting. Okay, down to the third level. We have a bed, some lockers that we can't take apart until we get a tier two tool. Um, let's look in here. All right, we'll grab that stuff and take that apart. Can we pick up this lerma seed? Yes, we can. And where am I supposed to find more iridium on this planet? Hey, dude, just go next door. That's all over the place in the volcano zone. Uh, anyway, I scouted everywhere without success. There's ice everywhere. It's critical that I find 
I find some to start heating the planet. Everything outside is freezing. I just have to sleep. Tomorrow will be better. This sentence for something so small is inhumane. I don't deserve it. All right, so he was a prisoner too, apparently, and given the same, the same deal. Okay, let's uh, go into here, and that goes down, and we also can go into here. Uh, wait, what? And that goes up or down. Hmm. Okay, this is the one we came down. Let's go back up, re replenish our oxygen. And you know what? Actually, let's just take this too. That way we know we've already covered everything. Uh, and we'll offload all of this stuff into here. I'm gonna pop one eggplant just to top that off and one water. Okay. So one, two, three, and we're back down here. Okay, let's go to, let's go to the left ladder first. <clears throat> that brings us up into a single room with three crates. Oh, wow, look at that, a rocket engine? Damn. That is a nice find. I'll take it. Okay. And uh, I think that's all we can do in here. Wow, I wasn't expecting to find something like that. <laughs> okay, let's go down. We're in a new chamber here with some doors to deconstruct. Two thing, two messages on the wall there. Oh my God! Look at all the messages on the wall. It looks like that's. Uh oh, wait. What the hell? All right. Um, let's look in this crate first. Nice. We'll take that. And we're full. So, yeah, let's go back up, drop off, and come back down. Now that we know where the end of the place is, I'm just going to take one O2 bottle down with me. All right. Down this way, down this way, down this way. And then to the right. Okay. So what do these say? Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of this world. Okay, that's like the same message we got from Sentinel Corp. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission... Okay, is that what all of these are going to say? Yeah, it looks like they all say the same thing. Okay. I'll grab all that stuff. And... Oh, we got bean seeds, you guys. Awesome. And another, oh my goodness. Oxygen multiplier fuse. Insert this fuse in, in an optimizer to boost performance of nearby machines. Okay, that's new. Or new to me, anyway. That's a pretty damn good loop. But look at this. We got a bean seed. Yeah. And another squash seed, too, which is good. Okay. Let's take that apart and see what this has to say. You sent me here to die. You knew it was impossible. You don't even care. All you care about is profit and colonization. Whoever thought, uh, whoever thought it was a good idea, go to hell. The plan was never forgiveness. Be cursed, Sentinel Corp. Okay, so you know what would be cool is if they actually had the dudes like Skeleton down here too. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Well, I mean, he said in his notes that the planet wouldn't be really ready for terraformation for another two years. So I guess we lucked out. And got the, you know, got the right time on that. I think, uh, I think there's, that's it, right? This just went up into this room that had the crates. Yeah. None of the rest of this stuff I can deconstruct. Need a tier two chip there. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that was a good run. Indeed it was. Okay, so, um, I'm going to put stuff that's not super important at the moment in here. And we want to grab uranium, super alloy, oxygen, um, uh, the other rocket engine, our food. Let's just eat that food. And we still have a few more spaces, so let's bring back... Let's just bring back the waters, actually. Because we're done here. Uh, and I guess more iridium is the next most valuable thing. And I'll, I'll still come back and get all this other stuff at some point. At least that's the tentative plan. Very good. Okay. Let's head back to the base, drop this stuff off, and then we're going to gear up for our uh, uh, move, move, uh, or sorry, not move, but our outpost. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Our outpost that we're going to make in the starter zone. And then we'll have lots more ship exploration to do. I hope I know where the hell I'm going. Yeah, I'm just kind of going over the mountains. It's nice having the tier two jetpack. Goes a little bit faster. I should actually kind of be careful going through these non-pathway zones because of that reason right there. You know, we glitch through stuff and we could get stuck. One thing I've noticed about this game, though, um, there are a lot of places where you glitch through the train and they need to fix that, but at least it doesn't seem like you get stuck. In a lot of other games, if you glitch through the train, you get you get stuck and you know sometimes it kills you hey look at that our lawn's growing <laughs> okay the first thing I'm gonna do is let's drop the iridium oh wow that's full now this will put in the miscellaneous bin the rocket engines will actually use to make our first rocket and that's actually something well we could make the launch platform now it's gonna take 66 things of energy though uh, but I did put two more of these down yeah let's 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 do that in the next episode I this episode I want to focus on looting the starter area uh, okay oh we got a, a blueprint a microchip blueprint let's do that right now See what we get. Map information rocket. Hmm. What's the difference between that and the GPS rockets? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Um, bu 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 okay, let's go over to here. We're going to... There's our biolab. Nice. Okay, we'll do that in the next episode, too. Uh, all right, let's pull... That oh, I guess those aren't quite ready yet. All right, we will plant the bean and squash um, once these mature. Nice, and then that means we're no longer growing eggplant at all, at least not at the moment. I am planning on setting up more food stations though, uh, but that'll give us, you know, the better food and these. This better food here we're going to actually take with us on our trip. So I'm not going to eat it right now. Uh, we want to drop off the super and the uranium and the iridium rod. And I'm just, this is my overflow three bin. So I'm just going to throw everything in here for now. Uh, oh, there's more supers. Good. Um, I'm, I, I got to thinking about this ground floor, and, you know, when it's all said and done, we <laughs> this whole ground floor might end up being nothing but just one huge warehouse, uh, you know, with, with crates. We'll see. Because, you know, we're already on overflow crate three now, uh, which is a nice problem to have, you know. Okay, I don't think we need to take this much water with us. Let's, um, let's drop some of that off, and we might as well, you know, loot that so we can 
keep that going. Let's loot this so we can keep it going. And I'm going to take enough stuff with us to make the first building. So we need a total of four iron, I think. Because we need two for that, one for that, and one for that. Yeah, four iron. We're going to need two silicon. Uh, there's one there. Okay. We're going to need... Oh, what's the matter? Thirsty. Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Wow. I just happened to right-click in the right spot because my screen had turned black. You know what would have absolutely royally, royally, I mean rage quit royally sucked about that? If we would have died, I would have lost all of this stuff. I mean, it wouldn't have ruined the game, but it would have ruined my mood, I'll tell you that much. Whew, okay, that was close. Anyway, uh, <laughs> damn it. Okay, back to this. Uh, we need two titaniums. Yeah, we just need two titanium. Okay, four iron, two titanium, two silicon. And I think that's all we need to make the first building and crafting station. Uh, right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. All right, I think we're good to go. We got lots of O2, lots of water, a decent amount of food. Um. Oh, okay, you know what? Since these are ready, let's pick them so we can get the better stuff planted. Uh, we'll put a squash there. And we'll put the beans there. Beans give 60 food. It's the best, uh, well, the best food that I am aware of in terms of just, you know, raw vegetables. I know we can actually make prepared food later. So, yeah. Um, I mean, we might as well keep these, these with us, too, until we get over there. So, are we ready to go? I think so. I think we're ready to go. You happen to have one more water in you? You do. Let's just drink that now. Okay, let's do this. So this outpost that we're going to make, um, at least for now, I think I'm just going to make it like a one by two. We might actually end up doing more with it later. And I probably will have outposts in other areas of the map before it's all said and done as well. But the waterfall is, is going to be our permanent home, for this playthrough anyway. Plan our O2. Take a drink of coffee. Man, I hope we can make coffee in this game later on. Can you imagine living in a world without coffee? That would, that'd just be. I, I can't imagine it. That'd be terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, let's go. All right, so this biome here is. Uh, oh, whoa. Wow, I did not know this was here. Very cool. Okay, um, let's eat one of these because we need room for two things, aluminum and super alloy. Okay, well, there's another golden crate. I didn't even know that was there, honestly. <laughs> I didn't. Anyway, um. This is a biome that you can get, um, here. Yeah, let's leave that in there for now. Uh, you can get aluminum in, in the early game if you, you know, if you're in the starter area. That was crazy, man. We just flew over there and there was a golden chest right in front of us. All right, cool. 
So let's fly um, over to where most people set up their their first um, base in the starter area. And as you can see, you know, there's a lot more food in these crates too. Well, I don't know if that's an RNG thing happening or not, but we really kind of screwed the pooch, you know, on getting uh, food when we first started. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so this is a pretty good central area. We got a wreck there, a wreck there, and a wreck there. In fact, uh, yeah, let's actually move a little closer this way. We do need to be mindful of the fact that, you know, this valley in here is going to be filling up with water fairly soon. Oh, we could actually have our outpost in this cave. There's a bunch of iridium and aluminum in this cave, too. Uh, or maybe... Um, here, let's just... Go. Temporarily put it down so we get some O2. I'm going to make this bigger than one shack, though, so I want to kind of think a little bit about where it's going to go. Maybe what we could do is build it up on this shelf here. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I don't think I want to be in this cave. Actually, it's cool in here and all, but I want to be out where I can see the sky. So we could set it up in this area because this is fairly high ground here. I'm thinking I'm just looking for a reasonably flat spot that we could do up to a 4x4 four four if we decide to actually do that. Um, and it might behoove us to put down a foundation grid too just to make sure that everything will fit. Alright, let's put that there. And we'll put this on top. Um, I'd like to actually try and pull it back a little more. Uh, or back this way a little more. It's just really hard to tell exactly where it's going down. Okay, that that's fine. Alright. Do I have enough to make another... No, we need more iron. Okay. No problem. Let's replenish our O2. And we'll grab a piece of iron. Wherever that can be found. Alright, let's put another foundation down there. And another foundation. And then we'll put another compartment. Oh, now we need a titanium. Good. I'm thinking maybe we, maybe about actually making a, a one by three. Oh, see, I don't know if it's going to let us clip into there though. I guess we're going to find out. Of course, we can go the other direction too. Got enough to, we need a, a titanium. I don't think it's going to let me do this. Oh, never mind. It certainly did. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, yeah, we'll start with this, and, you know, we can always expand it later if we need to. Um, let's put a crafting station in next. We need another piece of iron. No surprise there. We're also going to need some iron for making some storage chests, of course. Let's eat this space food. No, actually, let's eat that, and then we'll grab the space food. Okay, we got a crafting station there, and we need a drink. Let's set up our first um, locker. Uh, 
Okay, we're going to throw all of that stuff into there, except we're going to keep a couple waters and a couple O2s with us. Good. Um, do I have... Yeah, we need more iron. Okay. All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll loot the ship over that way first. Then we'll hit that ship, and then we'll hit that ship out there. Uh, we're not going to get to all of that in this episode, but we'll we'll do this ship over here in this episode. So let's, again, gather up enough stuff to make another uh, way station building over there. Uh, I think we need two of those. Okay. All right, yeah, let's start moving over there. I, I'm curious if the pod that you normally... Oh! We got... This is awesome, dudes. We got standing water. I think... Can't we... Can't we drink this? Hmm. I thought we could drink this. Maybe we can't. Oh, this is awesome, though. Look at this. We actually have ourselves a little lake happening here. Um, let's grab the food. And I'll grab the iron and the silicon. I'll leave the rest of that there. Anyway, what I was saying... Oh, man, this is cool. Is, uh, is the starter pod over here? Because... You know, because we found that other pod. Uh, maybe, maybe it isn't because we didn't start ourselves, and that I don't think that other pod was actually a starter pod, anyways, because it it wasn't working correctly. Oh, this is neat. We got water, guys. I think that might be our our screenshot uh, for this episode. Nice. Okay. We are well on our way to terraforming. Okay, let's head on up to the wreck here. Yeah. See, oh, we'll take that. You've, you've noticed that all of these chests in this area have food in them. Um, whereas, you know, we did not have that in our starting area. So, starting... At the waterfall, anyways, and possibly at the other places. Uh, really start you off with a handicap. Yeah, even more food. In fact, let's eat that one right now. Okay. Let's build our temporary shack right here. And I also want a crafting station in case we need to make O2 or something. And, of course, we're going to need to make some chests to store things, lockers. Let's just start with one for now. And I'm going to put all of this in here so we have maximum space. We'll take one oxygen. I don't think this ship is very... It doesn't go back very deep. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go. I mean, it, it doesn't go back as deep, very deep in terms of how, as much as we can access it. Okay, we got some supers and some food. Yeah, there is more to it, but we, you know, until we get our tier two tool, we are limited by what we can access. Good, we got another chip here. Always welcome those. A heater we can deconstruct. And I think that's it for this room. All right. Let's take that apart, but uh, let's go back out and drop off and replin O2. I'm hoping to find some... You know, more... Oh, there we go. I got an al algae generator. Hoping to find some more bean seeds. Oh, fertilizer. Okay. 
Uh, here, yeah, we'll take all of that. All right, uh, we can't take the servers apart. Got a bunch of chests in here. Okay. Take that. That. More eggplant. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Construct all of that stuff. Oh, this really goes back in here. Maybe this... I don't know if I'm going to have enough room to take that apart. All right, let's go back out, drop off. This ship goes back further than I, I remembered it. So there is actually a little more to it. All right, yeah, we'll come... Well, here, let's... Uh, we'll grab that. I'll pick that iron up on our way back out. Look at that water down there, man. I'm so excited. That's the thing about this game, you know, when, when stuff like that starts to happen, it's just feels so satisfying. Okay. Put all that in there. Put all this in here. Take those two things. We needed the fertilizer to make something. Can't remember what it was now, but... Now we have fertilizer. Okay, let's actually finish back here first because I think this is all the further we can go. Nice and uh, lots of cloth, which is good. And that's it for this side of the ship. Okay, so we got everything over that way. Uh, let's take this apart. Wow, that gives you a lot of stuff. Very nice. Come back in here. Okay. Got two more microchips. Another oxygen multiplier fuse. Let's eat this now. And some more uranium. Okay, good. Squash seeds. Yeah, really good stuff, actually. Let's drink this now. And, of course, we'll have to come back for yet another load. We'll finish this guy. We've got a microchip there, a message to read. And then this fusion reactor, which I don't know... I don't know what this does. We put something in there and it does something. <laughs> I guess we'll figure that out later. Um, okay. I remember running into that. I just don't remember what we use it for. Deconstruct, take this, deconstruct, and read the message. Okay, cargo ship Cerulea 4, machinery log number 436. This morning, as we were in our 17th day of space travel to Stigmar, the ship inexplicably exited hyperspace velocity. The navigation tools went crazy and all the ship's power went down, as if it was drained by something exterior. We are going to try and make an emergency landing on this unreported planet. I'm not sure what we'll find there. The planet seems to have a huge storm on the surface. I hope we'll make it. Hmm. Sounds ominous, man. Sounds ominous. I wonder if uh, Sentinel Corp is, is up to some, something no bueno. Uh, I mean, obviously, they it, it's... If nothing else, it's kind of unethical for them to send prisoners here to die, but... I mean, something beyond just that, though, you know. Makes you wonder. All right. So, here's the deal. Uh, we, we got a really nice haul here. Um, so, I'm going to move all of this stuff back to our main outpost. And then we'll start the next episode by doing the other two ships in the, in the area. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.